And I think what I want to do is continue on with the Ocarina of Time set. Um, I'll probably do like maybe now a half hour or so, a half hour to like 35 minutes of gameplay just to finish it off to get a little part for YouTube and then um, we'll finish it up. Yes, I know, I could use them every day to get more food and stuff like that. I know, I know. Alright, so hold on, let me change out this bow because I don't want to use this bow just yet. We'll just use a knight's bow for now, okay. Alright everybody, what's up, Jusky Rain here. The, um, my viewers on stream are going to be confused as to why I just sound like I just started, uh, just started streaming, but I didn't. I've been streaming for several hours now and... Um, I just wanted to start up this little intro for YouTube because this is our next part now for the uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild playthrough on YouTube. Now, as you can see, I'm wearing the full Ocarina of Time set because the past two evenings I've spent many hours in getting the entire outfits for um, the exclusive outfits that came through all the amiibos. So, for example, I have the entire Ocarina of Time set, I have the Wind set. Um, from Wind Waker, I have the Twilight Princess set, I have the Skyward Sword set, and I also have the Hero set from the 8-bit NES uh, Classic days. I also have the Fierce Deity set, which we may use um, at some point. I'm sure we're going to use that at some point. And I also have the Sheik's Mask, which we can use with the Stealth set um, to cosplay as Sheik. So, pretty cool, man. <laughs> And Rabbit and Yetis are being silly. Okay, so, also I just wanted to show you guys as well. In here I now have the Sword of Six Sages, which is an exclusive weapon from the Ganon, the Ganondorf Amiibo, from the Smash Brothers Ganondorf Amiibo. I also have the Goddess Sword from Skyward Sword. And I have Sword, which is the sword from the 8-bit uh, Legend of Zelda. I also have the Hero's Shield, which is the shield from the Wind Waker. And I have the Twilight Bow, which is a bow that does not use arrows. It's an infinite light arrow bow um, that just flies straight. It doesn't arc. It just, it's, just a, it's just a complete straight shot. But unfortunately, that is um, it does have durability, and it can lose durability and break. So I don't want to use that too, too much. So anyway, let's continue on with some gameplay here. Um, I need to eventually get back to the Great Plateau to finish off the uh, Champion's Ballad. But before I do that, I think actually what I want to do is, let's go back to the Hawakoth Shrine down in the Gerudo Desert and head over to this Great Fairy's Fountain to see if I can up my armor of time, since I'm going to be wearing the armor of time for a bit. <laughs> Yetis is being silly. <laughs> All right. So let's head over to the fairy fountain. Oh, I also need to take a picture of the head of this um, dragon over here. Because there's a side quest for that. Okay, let's see. So we need to enhance... Here we go. The cap of time we already enhanced twice. Let's enhance the tunic of time. Yeti and my spaghetti, that's a real thing. Do I want to know? <laughs> okay, now if we enhance this twice the entire set twice. Oh, I can't enhance it again. I need more materials. I need a star fragment. Damn, I need more star fragments. Okay. If we enhance certain sets twice, they will give us a bonus. But unfortunately, I need more star fragments for this. Okay. All right, I gotta collect more star fragments. 
Is it? It's a game? Okay. Alright, so let me take a picture of this thing's head. Where is the head? That's the tail. So we gotta head over to... Hang on. Let's pick up some of these things around here. All these Saflinas. Lots of different pickups here. Okay. Uh, I didn't watch it yet, Yetis, but I did receive it. Yes, thank you. Now, where is this? I gotta get a picture of this thing's head over here. Oh, we're hot. Wait a minute. Can I put the frost blade on? That's nah, not cool enough. Okay. I had to put some heat resistant armor on real quick. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm not really in too much of a crisis for rupees right now at the moment. Oh, here we go. Leviathan Desert. Okay, save that. Good. Alright, so we got that one. So let us now... Where else would there maybe a shrine? There's a bunch of, there's like a huge area over here with no shrine yet. Let's travel to the lake tower and maybe go like uh, southwest to see if I can find another shrine. 34%, so we are done with all the amiibos before your Final Fantasy 15 is, um, is finished, Nox. That's funny. <laughs> Uh, Yetis, I'm pretty sure I know about the dragon farming. I have to go to a certain spot during a certain time so I can see a dragon and then hit either his hoof or his head or his tail to, for, to have him drop something, pick that up and then go sell it and I get rupees. Is that pretty much the gist of it? I mean, there's nothing really confusing about that. Okay. Yeah, I need more star fragments. I definitely need more star fragments. Okay, let's head down here. See if I can find a shrine somewhere. I can place a fire in the right spot to skip to morning each time. Yeah, that's cool. One minute gets me like 2,000 rupees. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Well, I don't really need the rupees just yet. There's nothing I really need rupees for. I love that I have the Ocarina of Time outfit on right now. This is so freaking cool. It has to be in the right spot so it doesn't cancel the spawn. Okay, I gotcha. I'm looking for shrines or Koroks right now, you guys. Just a little bit of a uh, exploration here. Holy crap! Silver, silver Bokoblin just came out of nowhere, riding on a horse. Damn, he's fast with his arrows. Oh my god! That did so much damage. Holy crap, dude! Why is that doing so much damage?
Damn. That did ridiculous amounts of damage. I'm down to three hearts. Wow, man, that was crazy. That got me back to full health at least. Oh, there's a Lionel down there, look. I have a picture of a blue main Lionel already. Okay. No shrine yet though, unfortunately. Cook a radish and I'll be fully healed. Okay, yeah. I don't know whether I should go up this way or down in this area. Let's go down in this area, actually. Yes, I know, I know. Radish is ROP, I know. It really is. I know. This game really is freaking beautiful. So I don't know. I'm looking for more shrines here. <clears throat> Just exploring. The radar isn't going off. I, I imagine that there aren't too many more shrines that are just sitting right out in the open for us to complete. So what I think I might do is head back to the um, that Champion's Ballad Shrine that I have to complete. Because I'm not finding any down here. And I do want to get the motorcycle. Yeah, I gotta start doing shrine quests, exactly. I don't think there's too many more that are just lying around out in the open. There is, there is a motorcycle, but you have to do a ridiculously long DLC content, um, like DLC stuff. It's called the Champion's Ballad, which I started already, actually. And also, when you beat the Champion's Ballad, it gives you a really cool picture that you could hang in your house. The house that I was just at, where I have, you know, where I have my uh, weapons and shields and stuff displayed. There's a photo of Link and the four champions that you get from a hundred years ago. It's a photo that was taken a hundred years ago that you could hang in your house, which is pretty freaking cool. So, all right, let's go back to that shrine then. And we'll, uh, we'll try to complete that. It's this one here. <clears throat> so when I go back to it now, it's gonna give me the one hit obliterator and put my hearts all the way down to a quarter of a heart. 
Uh, how old is Witch Link? You finished all main quests, including DLC? That's awesome, Yetis. But you hardly did any side quests or Korok seeds. Did you get... No, don't call him Zelda. <laughs> did you do the Master Sword Trials, Yetis, as well, or no? And how old is Witch Link, Rabbit? Every Zelda game has a different person named Link in it. So they're all different ages. And Link is in Link is a different age. Link is multiple ages sometimes in uh, the same game as well. Only the one who possesses the one hit obliterator. Oh wait, I have to go back and get it? Are you kidding me? I have to go back and get it? Return to the Shrine of Resurrection. Oh I have to go back and get it. You did do it. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome, Yeti's yeah, cool. Um yeah, the rabbit. This link was put to sleep. He was put in like a stasis or kind of like a not really cryonese, not really cryogenic frozen state, but he was put in a a deep sleep in this right here actually. I I'm actually at the place where it happened so I can show you. He was put in this little chamber here right here for a hundred years and woke up in the same like state he was before it's a oh I need to take a picture of the one hit obliterator it's a complex thing <laughs> it's a complex thing but um like in Ocarina of Time for example he was both a child and an adult at different points throughout the storyline because he was traveling through time with the Temple of Time um, my weapon stash is full. What the hell? Yes, it is. Uh, damn it. How many Korok seeds do I have? Hold on. I have 10. I need more to get another weapon upgrade. Uh, or weapon slot upgrade. Um... I guess I don't need the torch right now. The hero returns. Okay. Remember that weapon defeats foes with one hit. Right, we know that. And I can also die in one hit. Alright, now we gotta return back to that shrine. Over here. Okay, here we go. Now this shrine is freaking difficult. Hey Nox, are you still here? Uh, Cheddar is probably upstairs sleeping right now. <laughs> He's probably upstairs in our bed. My wife and I's bed probably upstairs with her. Okay. Here we go again. Nox is here, okay. This shrine, I just wanted you to, I don't know if you saw this shrine before, Nox, when I was trying to do it beforehand. This shrine is tough. It is like tough as nails right now. Tough as nails, yes.
There we go. What? My bow broke. Are you freaking serious? Are you freaking serious? There we go. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming, Ox. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay. So I'm doing this part all easily because I've done it all before. Now, this is where I always die, right here. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh no! I was so far. I hate this shrine. I was so far. Alright. I hate this shrine. Whoa! Whoa! Almost died. What is what, Yetis? Oh yeah, it's just a bot. They were created, yeah, it, it doesn't come like that. Nox created the, that uh, these commands that you see. They're Nox's past memories downloaded into a bot. No, it's, no Nox is the bot. Nox is the bot, remember. Alright, here we go again. My God. Yes, yes. I did it. I freaking did it. Oh my God, yes. Uh, we don't need any more commands at the moment here, Yetis. Okay. I think we're pretty good for right now. Whew. Okay, one more spirit orb and we can get another upgrade as well.
We're going to have a Noxay Command Rabbit, don't worry. I I'm going to make that myself, but it's not made just yet. <laughs> Okay, so that's done. Oh look, it's Cass. Much like this plateau, you're looking at my dreary, yeah. Sure. Oh, it's the classic Zelda theme. Da, 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 da. Uh, you don't have a command yet, Yetis. Be right back, you guys. Okay. Okay, so there's two more spots on the Great Plateau here. Right down here, and then also by Mount Hylia. Hylia. Um, I guess I could try to get there on my own like this and just try to avoid all the all the enemies rather than fast traveling uh... i don't remember yeah i made a few commands Knox. <laughs> You made a lot of them. You made most of them, but I made a few. When I first got Nightbot, I made all the initial starting commands. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. You know what this would be good for? Uh, my knight's bow is badly damaged. I was going to say the um, the light arrow bow would be good for this area here. Damn it. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Let's try it. The Twilight Bow. It's just going to be a straight arrow. That's crazy. That is awesome.
All right, Yetis. Take care, man. Have a good night. I'll see you next time, dude. Yeah, I'm going to be getting going pretty soon myself, you guys. Getting going. Ugh. I'm going to be... Yeah, see, I'm tired. I'm going to be going in just a little bit pretty soon myself, you guys. Oh, this is a... I can't pass this opportunity up. Boom! Holy crap, that was awesome. I'll try, man. I'll try to keep up the good work. <laughs> Take care, Yetis. Have a good night. Alright, he's dead. Did I get him? Nice, I got him. Wow, he's fast. Holy crap, he's fast. Oh my god, what? A guardian is here? Oh, I'll get them all, Nox, don't worry. Oh, shut up with your horn. There we go. Whoa! Oh! He really had to shoot fire. counter is a bit off it always is one shot in the in the um it's one shot in the dlc rabbit 14 okay this dlc the champion's ballad it only gives you it only gives you uh it gives you a weapon that kills any enemy in one hit but it also kills you in one hit It's just for the Champion's Ballad. It's just for this DLC, yeah.
Oh look, it's a star horse. Wait a minute, I need a picture of this. Nice. I got it. That's actually from one of the quests too. Hold on, let me save. Because there's a quest to uh, take a picture of a star horse. Pretty cool, right? I want a skeleton horse. But anyway, I don't need to be on him. I need to finish killing these monsters over here. Alright, he's dead. Damn! Direct hit. Oh no. Are you kidding me? Uh. Well, I just saved. I wonder if that saved in the middle of the monsters that I was killing. Like, I wonder if it saved my progress. Yeah, it did, I think. It did, I think, because that guardian is dead. Sweet. Okay, good. And I should still have the picture of the Star Horse as well. Where are the last enemies? set of enemies. Let me save again. Ten arrows. That's good. Where the heck are the enemies at? There's got to be another enemy here somewhere. Because it didn't trigger. Oh, right there. This little thing is not going to take me out. Got him. Is that it? Oh my god, that's not it yet. There's gotta be another enemy somewhere. Hmm. Where is this last enemy? There he is. Still not yet. Wait, let me save. Just gotta be really careful here. Uh, a shrine. We get a shrine that comes up out of the ground, uh, rabbit, and it's more progression for my oh red lazalfo's tail more progression for my um champions ballad dlc that's eventually going to lead us to the motorcycle
Yeah, another shrine comes out of the ground that I have to complete. They all should be defeated here. I don't know where the last enemy is. I am confused. Where is this last enemy? Is he up here, maybe? Nope. There's gotta be another enemy somewhere. Yes, you can. The motorcycle, you get the motorcycle for free room. You just ride it all around. Yep. It needs fuel, but whatever I need to use for fuel, I'm sure I can find it in the world. But yeah, you, you can ride it everywhere. Is it them? These keys? It can't be. Gotta be careful where I'm running here. Here he is! There it is. It was one goblin. Sweet. <clears throat> Okay. The Ruvo Corba Shrine. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to activate it and then go down into it, but then I'm going to save the game and we're going to continue with this shrine in the next stream because it's getting kind of late now. <clears throat> Wait, why? What's up? What's going on, Knox? Nox A backwards is EXON. If anything, wouldn't it be like intelligent examining Xerox to obey Neuronet? <laughs> oh, that's funny. A major test of strength. Okay, so this is a combat trial. With the freaking one hit obliterator? Wait a minute. I could just do this then. All I have to do is hit him once. I have the one hit obliterator. I was going to leave, but this is going to literally take me one hit. Yeah, so, <laughs> about that. I have pictures of all of these, right? Yep, okay, good. It was, it's the Champion's Ballad DLC. It gives you this one hit obliterator. You die in one hit where your enemies die in one hit. And you have to use it throughout this whole... Nice, 10 bomb arrows. You have to use it throughout this whole beginning part of the DLC. 
Oh, wait a minute. We're not done yet? Oh, never mind. I'm probably going to have to do this shrine next time then. Never mind. There's more to the shrine. That wasn't the end. There's a key here. Oh god. Got him. There's a chest up there. Yeah, I might have to do this next time. Well, let's see. If it's short... Oh god, he's not dead yet. Huh, Nox, I saw that. That's cool, man. There we go, there's the small key. Okay. Where's that area at that I needed this? Oh, here it is. The heck is this? Oh my god. Oh my god. So this is going to have to happen tomorrow. Oh good, it keeps my small key. That's good. 
I keep the small key. Alright, let's save. And we'll finish this up tomorrow. Alright, you guys. Well, thank you so much for being here. As always, we got all the amiibo items, so two thumbs up on that. We don't have to scan any more cards anymore, which is pretty freaking cool. Now I have this nice little collector's item um, with all the amiibo cards, this Zelda leather case. So, 44% on Final Fantasy 15. Well, that's going to take a while, Nox. <laughs> but, buenos nachos, everyone. I hope you all have a great evening, great night, and I will see you all next time. Take care, everybody. Peace out.